Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is a segment where we take a look at some of the hottest RV floor plans on the market today. I'm standing inside a 2023 Zinger 270BH. This is a Crossroads product. It's kind of an entry-level RV, which means it's affordable for a lot of people, and this thing's not terribly heavy, so there's a lot of good tow vehicles on the marketplace that can handle it. One of the things that I think is really cool, and I want to start right here in kind of this living dining area in the slide, because they've changed a few things up going into the 2023 season, and we've got this new lounge system, which is convertible. It does a few different things. So we have our U-shaped dinette here, which is right next to our jackknife sofa. The U-shaped dinette can be switched over to where it makes our sofa L-shaped, giving us more space to observe our entertainment center. Also, both of these can flip down and become beds to accommodate more guests, should you need them. I think it's a pretty cool setup. It's something that's different than what we see in a lot of travel trailers, and it's pretty versatile and useful in my opinion. Back towards the back of the trailer, we have a couple of fixed bunks. We call this a corner bunk, corner bath setup because our bathroom's right behind that door. These bunks are double wide and they have a weight rating of 300 pounds, which means we can easily sleep a couple of kids up there, no problems, big adults, not a problem either. There's storage up under the bottom one with an access door from the outside and they've provided us with a little curtain for privacy and they've got this nice ladder for getting up into it. Both bunks do have power outlets and plugs. Our bathroom has its own entry door from the outside, a nice big shower back there. And I want to point out that even me at six foot three has plenty of space in here. I'm not even completely up into this like skylight fan. So that's kind of nice. I love the fact that it's got that door to get into from the outside. We have a standard foot flush toilet, some storage in the form of a medicine cabinet and some cabinetry down below the sink. Our kitchen has a few cool things going on with it. I'd like to point out that we do have a nice size pantry in the 270BH. This is important for a lot of people because storage is a premium in these RVs. And one of the things I like about what they've done here is they've offset the shelving just slightly so that we can get brooms or other tall objects in there. As is becoming standard in the RV industry, we're starting to switch to these 12 volt refrigerators across the board. We don't really see the gas electrics anymore. It's just becoming something that the industry really loves to put in these new RVs and they do cool down super fast. They use very little energy as well. We have a high point microwave up high, glass top, three burner stove, just extending that counter space in this L-shaped kitchen here. There's a little storage up high in the form of cabinetry. And of course our sink, which is a dual basin stainless steel sink with a high rise faucet that's extendable, has these nice covers on it, just giving us more space to prep food and just get things ready at the beginning or end of the day. This particular unit was ordered in as 30 amp service. It has one air conditioner. We can get it as 50 though and really amp that up. Our entertainment center here on the wall has a spot where we could mount a nice big flat screen TV. It does come equipped with a little Bluetooth sound bar there. So that's kind of nice. And there's some storage down low. In the very front cap, we have our bedroom. It hosts a queen bed. This is a typical travel trailer setup where we've got storage on either side in the form of hanging closets. And Zinger did something which I don't know how I feel about yet, but down low, instead of having the typical storage chest, they've just opened it up and allowed us to stack in things like suitcases and other large luggage down there. So I think that could go either way. Either way though, this is a walk around queen. It does feel spacious in here. There's a sliding door that closes it off and we have a spot where we can hook up a flat screen TV should we choose to. Now before we head outside, I wanna close this thing up and just see what all is accessible with the slides in. All right, there it is. So one of the things that's neat about this 270BH is that 
pretty much everything is accessible. There's a little squeeze between the couch and the sink here, but it's not that bad. We have access to pretty much everything but the storage that's in the entertainment center. I can get into my refrigerator. I can get into the pantry just fine. I can even get to those bunks in the bathroom back here. And if you remember, there's a separate entry door to that bathroom anyway. So even if you were pit stopped on the side of the road, you don't have to open anything up to get access to the inside. I think that's pretty neat. Really, the only things in here that are not accessible are gonna be a little bit of cabinetry that's in the entertainment center. Let's open everything back up and pop outside and check out some of the features there. Outside the 270BH, we've got a few things going on that definitely separate it from some of the other entry level models in the pack. Let's get started right up here at the front where we have a nice big pass-through storage. So this is accessible from both sides. It's a nice open area under that front bedroom there. We have the solid step entry from Lippert on our door here, just making contact with the ground, making it easy to get in and out. And also, they've included a small outside kitchen. It comes with a hot point refrigerator, and it's complete with a nifty little two burner stove that we've got sitting here. I like that a lot. This is great for just cooking up things that you don't want to have smelling inside. So if you have fish or bacon or things that just might stink up the camper, we can come out here under the awning and cook on the two burner stove. Plus the refrigerator being right there makes it easy for grabbing snacks and drinks while hanging out on the patio. I mentioned that awning, it's lit up by an LED light. It runs almost the length of the camper and it extends out pretty far, giving us great patio covered space. We've got outside speakers out here, they're marine grade and they're Bluetooth capable so you can connect to them with your phone. If you remember inside in the bathroom, it had a door to the outside. This is it, so a separate entry door is definitely a nice thing to have, especially for quick stops running down the road. Down low, you'll notice that we have electronic stabilization legs. I like those a lot. They run up and down at the touch of a button and they keep the camper super stable. Our spare tires mounted right here on the back on our four inch square tube bumper. We have a ladder leading up to our fully walkable roof and this is prepped for a backup camera. It's an aftermarket system, but it's pretty well plug and play, so it's easy to install. There's an outside shower back here, as well as our cable in and our city water connections. And that's a nice placement for it, because as we round the corner, you'll notice that all of our sewage connections are down low. So if we do have an accident, it's easy to clean up and wash up. Our shore power is right here on the end of the camper. And remember those bunk beds inside? Well, here we have some access to storage up under them. So they just carved out all the space we could. We can throw stuff in and out, just an easy space for getting extra things in on your trip. As we push up towards the front of the camper, we're gonna come back across that pass-through storage that we saw earlier. Again, just going all the way through, making it easy to have extra things on your camping trip. And then here at the front of the camper, notice that we have an electronic tongue jack. So this is gonna run up and down at the touch of a button. It's got a nice little light on it just for keeping things bright and hooking up to your trailer at the night. This does come with a battery cutoff switch pre-installed from the factory. Certainly a nice option, given that when you put this thing in storage, you're gonna to wanna to click that bad boy off. All in all, I really do like the 270BH. I think it's a great entry level product, perfect for families that are looking for just some kind of adventure vehicle for short trips, weekend trips, even you know week long if needs be. It's a pretty cool camper. It's definitely worth seeing for yourself in person at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. We're right off I-75 between exits 216 and 218. You can give us a call at 770-477-0552 or check it out on our website, southernrv.com. Be sure to like and subscribe if you love this content. And until next time, guys, happy camping.